what do we got here? Well, this is actually my biggest PSA submission yet. And I send in some vintage Pokemon cards again. Now, if you guys saw my last PSA submission, you know I had a horrible experience with sending in vintage Pokemon cards, but I decided to give PSA another chance. It actually went pretty well for the exception of one card. So we're gonna talk about that in this video, so let's get right into it. Now, if you guys did not watch my last PSA submission return, here's what happened pretty much. We sent in a Mewtwo Delta species, which should have gotten, in my opinion, at least an eight to a nine. This Mewtwo got a PSA 2, and I honestly couldn't wrap my head around it. Um, but yeah, we have a total of 41 cards. This is my biggest submission ever. I'll be honest, I already looked at the grades. You could actually do that on the PSA uh, website or the app if you have the mobile app. But uh, once the rate grades are ready, you could reveal them, and that's what I did this time, so I'm not even gonna <gasps> act surprised. So... This is actually some of my friend's cards as well. Uh, so he sent in some Dragon Ball Z. So this is really cool. I'm not, I love Dragon Ball Z, but I'm not into the TCG, but very, very sick card. I might get into it after this. <laughs> but yeah, we got Sun Gohan Beyond the Ultimate PSA 10. And uh, yeah, I know that all the Dragon Ball Z ones got a really good grade. Here we have a 1999 uh, Charizard Hollow graded at a PSA, PSA, PSA 6. Let's see, I don't know why this one got, oh yeah, there is a good amount of whitening. So yeah, I could see why this actually got a 6. But still, always beautiful seeing a vintage Charizard, the base set one, the most iconic uh, Pokemon card, honestly. Here we got an Umbreon VMAX graded at a PSA 10. And before we continue, let me just say what I've heard from PSA lately is that PSA for vintage Pokemon cards, it's not the best. Uh, I've heard that you're better off going with Beckett. Uh, now I've never graded with Beckett, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you guys could let me know your opinion down below in the comments. Here we got a Palkia V-Star Gold, all blinged out, PSA 10. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are out of order. This is not the order I submitted them in. Uh, we're gonna keep going. We got an Iron Crown, special illustration rare, beautiful card with the, uh, I forgot what these pink Japanese trees are called. Oh, I can't think of it. Anyway, we're gonna keep going here until we find that one card I'm talking to you guys about. Uh, here we got a Charizard G. He's a G, a level X, uh, graded at a seven. Yeah, I can see it. I see a little bit of whitening here below. Centering looks a bit top heavy. And uh, yeah, guys, these are all things to take into consideration before you go out, grade your cards. Uh, just make sure you're prepared for the grade you're going to receive. Uh, be prepared for worst case scenario. I gotta say all these cards so far have not been mine. Uh, it's actually two of my friends that sent a submission along with me. Now I know that this next one is mine because I sent in a metal card. My very first metal card. Yo, what? Oh, the, the packaging looks kind of weird here. Is that because it's metal? Yeah, because all, you know, all the other cards don't have that. I don't know if, I mean, it's a lot thicker and heavier, so I don't know if that has to do with it. But yeah, you could see even down here, you see that? It's like a little bubbly all around there. But anyway, it is the Pikachu metal card from Celebrations. Graded at a nine. So I got a pretty good grade on it. And yeah, on the front here, as you guys can see, um, I haven't looked at other metal cards. So I don't know why that is. But uh, let's see if the Charizard's like that as well. So this is mine as well. We got the Arceus. PSA 10 from Crown Zenith, and I absolutely love these gold cards. Graded at a PSA 10. And yeah, guys, I have to say, for the most part with this submission, I did pretty well for the exception of that card. This one's also mine. We got the RCS again, PSA 10. But let's see, we're gonna keep going. This is my ho -Oh, Shiny ho -Oh from Hidden Fates, Shiny Vault. And yeah, send in a lot of fire this time, guys, so stay tuned. 
Uh, this is my Sylveon VMAX PSA 10. Beautiful card from the trainer gallery. Let's keep going here. Sylveon V, again with the trainer gallery. Uh, yeah, it's the same trainer. That's just the VMAX form. I'll let you see that side by side. Got that in a PSA 10. And uh, yeah, guys, be prepared. Like I said, um, you know, I did fairly well on this. But yeah, just also be prepared for that worst case scenario because, you know, sometimes you think a card is going to get a certain grade. Oof, I love this. So this is a Vaporeon from uh, Sky Ridge, the reverse hollow. I think the reverse hollow on these actually look sicker than the regular hollow box. I don't know if you guys have seen those before, but I just like how there's hollow like all over in between these little lines and these e-reader cards are just so cool they're actually my probably one of my favorite pokemon cards right now i just like that unique look that they have to that and then we got son goku a, a super saiyan blue uh oh with ko ken as well yeah these are really cool man might get into some dbz myself or dbs dragon ball super we got the glaceon from Hidden Fates at a PSA 10. Beautiful, shiny Glaceon. Man, this, I still have another box. I've been going through so many cards. There's a Charizard VMAX PSA 10, Darkness Ablaze. And I know they have the, um, what is it? Those pack series that they have the little logo, the, the play packs. All right, we got Iono PSA 10, beautiful card. A very popular card. Dude, this one was like, people were going crazy for this card. Uh, the Japanese one, I don't even know how much it was going for. I think it was like 1K, like $1,000, but I don't know if that's dropped. I haven't looked at it. So finally getting to a vintage one. So yeah, this was mine, a Gyarados Hollow. Yeah, it got a PSA 8. Uh, this one, I understood. I, I thought it was pretty fair. There's a little bit of whitening bottom there. Aside from that, I think it looks pretty good. So I could have seen this getting a nine. I didn't think it was gonna get a 10, so I thought this grade was pretty fair. Let's see what we got next. Here it is, guys. I can't believe this. I honestly don't understand it. So this Squirtle, beautiful Squirtle from Expedition got a PSA five. And I honestly do not get why. I don't see it being scratched on the surface anywhere really and yeah it's not banged up too bad i mean look at the corners i want to say i see a tiny bit on the top right corner there of whitening but you know nothing too crazy like at least like the worst grade i would give this is an eight like me personally i mean i'm not a grader but Come on, a five? I, I just don't understand it. And yeah, that's a, it's a little bit upsetting. So I honestly think I might get that. I might break that Squirtle out of there. Break him out of jail. That's pretty much like a jail cell. How are they gonna give my boy a five? Like, I think it looks pretty great, honestly. I don't know if you guys see something wrong with that card or something, or if you've had like a similar, similar experience like this, let me know below in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys have to say or if you think uh you know vintage as well is better sending to uh beckett or cgc i know cgc is not as popular with cgc what i've heard is that it's really good for 10 contenders meaning pokemon cards that you think have a really good shot at getting a 10. and yeah beckett i heard is really good for getting seven to nine contenders or sending your vintage Pokemon cards. But all right, we got a whole nother stack here. And I gotta count these after just to make sure it's all 41. But let's see. All right, we got the beautiful Moltres Zapdos Articuno GX promo card from the Elite Trainer Box, the Black Star promo. I just love this card. It's pretty awesome. It's like a church glass. Very nice. It, I just love how, how they made this card. It's like pretty unique. It's like the only Pokemon card like that. 
Oh, we got another vintage. We got Erica's Dragonair. Uh, Japanese from Gym Heroes. Beautiful card. Yeah, like I said, it was just pretty much that Squirtle. The rest of these, you know, I kind of understand why they got the grade that they got. This one's got a tiny bit of whitening there. But yeah, no scratches, anything like that. I thought it was pretty well centered. I actually had high hopes for that one that it will get a 10, but unfortunately not, but no complaints. Uh, still really good card, really good grade on it. Here we got the Jolteon from Jungle. Beautiful card. I love uh, the artwork on this. And I just love how the hollow around him kind of goes with the shape of his uh, body. So yeah, this one's a really sick one, PSA 9. And yeah, I'm okay with this one as well. Yeah, I'm honestly like okay with the rest of them. It was just that one Squirtle. I just didn't understand it. Here we got a Houndoom from Battle Styles. Secret Rare, Secret Gold Rare. Beautiful full art. Let's go at a PSA 10. So uh, these are 41 cards. It's 41 cards here. 30 of these are mine and, I, and 21 of them got a 10. So... Honestly, overall, I'm like very happy with my submission. And uh, yeah, I think my grader should pat himself in the back. He did a great job. So yeah, beautiful 10 again with the three birds. Uh, that's also from Hidden Fates. Here we got the Nidorina Master Ball Reverse Hollow. See if we could get it. There we go, just like that. Beautiful card. Next vintage. So this was my only 10 that I got from uh, my uh, vintage cards from, this is what, Scyther from Team Rocket Scyther. This one did not get a 10. I was going to like flip out because guys, I saw this at the card shop. Uh, that's where I got it. I'm like, man, this card is absolutely perfect. Like there's nothing wrong with this card. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna send it to get graded and I was completely right Got a PSA 10 and this one has a swirl actually You guys see right there Also, I did not know what a swirl was for the longest time I'm like, well, what are people talking about or like on eBay? Sometimes I would see oh this and this card with a swirl. I'm like, what the hell is a swirl? But yeah, look at that. when you like move it up and down and like goes in and out so yeah, beautiful Scyther. Scyther's, honestly, I think it's one of my favorite Pokemon. He's a really cool Pokemon. We got Latios or Latias and Latios, ladies first. So yeah, Latias, Latios, GX, PSA 10, very cool card. There's actually that new set. I think the Japanese set came out, uh, something Dragon Pergona or I don't know, something like that. But yeah, they feature uh, Latios and Latias. They're like flying up in the sky. I'll put it up here so you guys could look at those artworks. They're just very sick. And here we got a Sceptile GX from Lost Thunder, Secret Rare, Rainbow Rare. And yeah, this is a beautiful full art card. I just love that pattern in the background on this as well. And we managed to get a 10. Let's see what we got. Blaziken VMAX with my like <laughs> holding off for dear life for my... My, May? May, May. May is her name. May is her name. And here is the Blaziken V. Again, it goes with this card as well. The V and the V Max. We got a Japanese Poke Kid dressed as an Eevee. It's a pretty cute card. I think a lot of girls will go crazy over that. Just like they go crazy over me. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately not. Okay, anyway, guys, we got a Poliwhirl PSA 9, a Master Ball Reverse Hollow. And yeah, I was surprised on, a little surprised. I thought it should have gotten a 10. Here we got the Mewtwo V-Star from Crown Zenith, where he's fighting the Charizard in the background. And they have another card like this. I don't know if, did that come in the Charizard UPC? think it did but yeah where it's the Charizard on this side and then the Mewtwo in the background graded at a 10 very happy about that one as well uh, Zoroark V-Star I just love this artwork it's so sick Crown Zenith had like some of the best artworks and uh, I actually got a lot of these because 
I have a feeling, guys, this is going to be one of the best invested investment products right now. What is this? Evil Saiyan, Malice Made Fresh. I don't even know who that's supposed to be, but still looks pretty cool. Dragon Ball Z again, we got Pan, Time Patrol Maiden. I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z, but it's pretty cool. I like that clock she's got back there. Honestly, a lot of the Dragon Ball Z and One Piece cards are very, very cool. Uh, the quality of the card is usually pretty good. So a lot of those cards usually tend to get a 10. Oh, we got the Gardevoir EX, Dancing in the Forest. This is a beautiful card from uh, Paldea and Fates. All right, guys, next we got Jesse and James. I just wanted to grade this. I mean, I like Jesse and James. Um, classic, you know, we got a Meowth in the background and a Wobbuffet right here. This one got a nine. Um, this one, I didn't really get why it got that nine, but it's okay. We're all right with that. And last but not least, let's see if, yeah, the pack, I guess that's how it is with metal cards. I haven't really seen it before. But yeah, just look at this. Uh, I guess the card is just way too thick. Maybe that's why it does that. Um, but yeah, we got the Charizard from the UPC. Grade it at a nine. And I believe this one's worth like 150 bucks. I know the 10 is worth, I think like 2K because it's like super tough to get a PSA 10 in these metal cards. All right, you guys. So that was it for my PSA submission. Uh, I honestly did not get what happened with that Squirtle? If you guys know or have an idea if something like this happened to you before, or if you guys just learned uh, what could happen when grading your vintage Pokemon cards uh, with PSA, there you go. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.